Hi, Dice One here from Catagonia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've been making a few loose pages to go into my art pages box and I've got these printouts of a scanned in background that I created. I've been doing it a lot lately and I've just was going through the th t through the pile and thought I'd make a quick and easy page, something that I normally don't do. But I've already done the background, spent the time and created created this. I'm just finding a spot I like and I'm going to cut that out and make a very short page. It's a lot quicker than you've ever seen me do. I surprised myself. It just goes to show you can do quick and easy. You don't need a lot of items. If you but you love making backgrounds, I've been doing them on A3 pages and A4 pages, been putting them aside, but I've been scanning them into my computer first and then printing them off. And I'm only just all I'm using is an Epson XP220 inkjet printer. It does have a CISS attached, which is a um, system that that has your inks continuously flowing into a special cartridge. And to, nowadays you can actually purchase them already in the machine. So they're a continuous ink solution. So the, the negative with this is you've got to reset the, the level of ink when the machine thinks it's run out as it registers that each cartridge has a certain volume and as soon as you've hit that you've got to reset. Bit of annoyance but at the same time it's saving me to spend more money on a machine um, that would have, you know, pop buying cartridges is damn expensive. But I've also using at the moment some higher level inks, and I'm trying them out. They're actually a Rehack brand, and they're actually specially profiled for photo printing and stuff. And so I'm hoping that when they come out, they're, they're a photo photo pro. When they come out, they won't be so water activated as the older, cheaper inks are. It's not that much dearer actually, but the the other rings are water soluble. Um, that's it in its nature. So, so I'm just looking cut out a piece that I liked. I liked the images here. I liked what it was doing, and so I thought this is this will do. So I just get some double sided tape, put it on the back. You know, when you think about the resources that you view that you use in such a simple page like this, it means that if you don't have a lot of time, but you have these these um, items around, and you can still craft, but you can do it in a couple of minutes, and you're still feeling like you're functioning. You still feel like you've actually achieved some art that day, because. Often it's so hard, you look at this either white piece of card or open up a book and it's so bare and you don't know what to do. If you have pre-printed backgrounds in your stash, that could be rice paper that you've purchased from places like Stamperia or Marimi Small Arts, you know, scrapbook. Scrapbook FX, there's so many of those. Dina Wakeley, Diana Reevely, there's so many backgrounds that you can purchase. Just cut out one that fits your page. Stick in either a focal image that you can also purchase from those sort of providers. Stamped image. Or just some words like I'm doing, going to do today. So, as usual, when I put some double side tape, I use a bone folder and I press them down very firmly so it's actually connected all the way through to the paper and you don't have those little bubble ridges that happens and I'm using a pin to lift the backing paper. I always find it can be very, very patient testing having having that that need to do where you're actually trying to get it up and even with a pin sometimes it drives me spare but that's the fun of double sided tape see I'm having trouble always one so I'm just taking off all the backings of this double sided tape I probably could have used a larger sheet which I do have as well but this was close by and I'm using it and I was trying to do a quick page so probably 
the longest part of doing this particular layer was the double sided tape so and the the annoyance of it so it probably would have been easier to do the printing it out on the paper that has the sticker paper would have been even quicker you know just pull off the back of that stick it on so you will see that it actually has doesn't fit the page completely why should it doesn't have to added some white space to my page which is at the moment very abnormal for me so and there's some color on my blank page it's now got color it's got orange and it's got greens and pinks and whites and blacks so I just grabbed my archival pen from Uniball and I'm just more well, Mitsubishi yeah which is Uniball yep um, and I'm just doing some, a border around the color section of it and just adding some squiggles here just to blend the, the white into the black simple and get it right down you're supposed to put the lid on properly and I'm just going to grab some word stickers that I have and I think I'm getting the just the large lettering what's this one I've got here I've got a couple here so on standby that I don't use that's fine and I'm going to use I don't even know I think I don't know if these are the I think these are the separate words that I'm going to try to make up a a little saying on the page so I think this all up took about 10 minutes that's pretty that's pretty quick for me takes oh well I, the other thing that took a long time is me deciding what words I was going to put on here yeah you know, I could have sped this video up and it probably would have reduced it down to about five minutes but you know you've got to have a tip you've got to have a short one sometime but so I thought I'd go a little bit live time for you and see you going so I hope everyone's coping with the world as it is I know it hits me hard occasionally and one thing I find is either doing the editing here or creating my pages or do a journal I'm actually been cont contemplating setting up a large canvas and working on that and doing something a little bit different for me I've got a few ideas um, so hopefully we'll get that set up at some point and you can see what I'm up to with that but I'm just waiting for hubby to help set up my new filming setup which will allow me to do overheads with this new video camera that I've got and um, sadly I couldn't afford to get one that had massive auto zoom and stuff so it'll be a case that it'll be it's still HD but it just is a set distance from the camera and it doesn't autofocus when I bring in the image etc etc so but it's a lot easier you know I still have I still have my little cheap GoPro cop version but it can be used for something else it means I can do a different angle for you either do a face-to-face -face on it while I've still got an overhead as well so I'm just doing a little bit of doodling as you do just to as well it's a printout so it's flat so I just was adding another dimension that was clearer and more clarified by using those and of course out comes my stamp that I got for my dates now this I find is an essential additive to all your journal pages even if you write it by hand put your dates on so then you can see what you've been doing so that's the page remember that moment and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Bye. Hi, and thank you for watching my latest video. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. Please click the like button and just let me know that you enjoyed it. And comment below if you'd like to see anything new. So thank you for coming and happy crafting. Bye.